Okay, this time I want to show you the Behringer X-Touch, the send encoder assign. What can we do with a send? So, first of all, let's have a look at Cubase. I have selected track number three, which is a bass track, and I have just added two send effects, which is a room works and a ping pong delay. Doesn't matter, actually. And now let's have a look at the Behringer here, channel number three is selected. And I have eight displays for levels. And when I turn level one, I can change the level of the send one. Look at Cubase, you can see how it changes. And level two, I can change this level as well. And I can even change the level of send number three, although there is no send effect or send assigned right now. But you can see it in Cubase. You can already adjust it. Okay. Now let's go to page number two of four by using the channel button, channel right. And here I can switch the effects, send one off or on, second one off, on. And when I press the encoder, I can switch all sends off, all off all on. Okay. Now let's go to page number three, pre-post. Here I can select if I want to send the bass track pre-fader or post-fader. Usually it's pre-fader and now I can switch it to post. You can see in Cubase how the color changes of the send. On, off. So now it's post. Okay, and now the final page, number four. This is pretty nice, although it won't display me anything right now. No functionality shown. But I can assign the output I want to send something to. For example, effects one, effects two, stereo output. So if I have multiple effects, I can select where I want to send it. And of course, for example, the third slot is empty, and I just want to add another room reverb. Here we go. And of course, I want to activate it. So I go back to this page, and I activate it. There's a little flaw in the display because it already showed me on, although it wasn't on. Let's check for the fourth slot here fourth slot. Let's just try this one and we go back. You see, it's already showing on the others as well, which is not true. Look at Cubase, it's grayed out. So let's switch it on and now it's okay. Now if I switch back to off, it will show me off here as well. But it will huh, on again. Strange. I don't know. Anyway, so you can assign the sends, you can adjust the levels, you can switch them on, off, individually or global, and you can select pre-post in the send mode on the X-Touch. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.